What instantly comes to mind when you hear Bangladesh? My best friend in high school to a few years after. She was half Bengali and it was the first time I had learned about Bangladesh and its culture. We were incredibly close. Someone told us once that watching the two of us tell a story was like listening to one person speak. Unfortunately, we were both very ill with severe familial trauma and it was best that we parted ways. I've never gotten as close to anyone as I was to her. I hope you're out there kicking ass, Ms. Black. A while back the Bangladesh Tourism Bureau had an ad in The Economist and Bangladesh's biggest claim to fame was world's largest mangrove forest. For anyone who has ever been in a mangrove forest, they know that they are not particularly great places to be in. Also a whole back I was working on the Myanmar-Bangladesh border and my cell phone would pick up Cox Bazaar which I later found out has the world's longest beach. Although I am sceptical of this claim. Insane territorial enclaves. They're all gone now as India and Bangladesh struck an agreement to sort them out. Ahala Kagrabari was the world's only third order enclave, meaning that it was an Indian enclave surrounded by a Bangladeshi enclave which was itself surrounded by an Indian enclave inside Bangladesh. 93,000 Pakistan army personnel surrendered to India army in 1971 thereby leading way to the creation or formation of Bangladesh. However, the people of Bangladesh are so shameful. They are demolishing Hindu temples, forcefully converting Hindu girls to Islam just like done in Pakistan. This might get removed or downvoted oh well. This meme I saw that poked fun of Catholic priests. Priests talking to other priests, hey, I'm going to Bangladesh. Who's joining me? Then it shows a picture of a young boy named Ladesh holding a cross, all carrying in fear. Many years ago my teacher in my school told us that when he was on a trip there, some women kept looking at his feet and he didn't understand why until someone told him the thing about big feet, big. This for things about Cox's Bazaar's longest unbroken sea, biggest mangrove forest of the world, only country fought for their mother tongue, sixth most native language spoken in the world, South Asians celebrating on the streets that Argentina won the World Cup because Argentina took England out of the World Cup twice and people over there, with very good reasons, really hate England. I think of the fact that, despite its tiny relative size, it has a larger population than the entire country of Russia. There's a lot of people crammed into a small space. The pain and suffering I went through trying to cram my awful handwriting of the name into the tinier spot of the map that AP World History made us label by hand. The meme where the guy's name is Ladesh. Hehisari. Otherwise, surprising GDP, textile industry, overflowing population immigration to other nations. Jolly Bengali from The Simpsons. Don't ask because I can't tell you why. I read the post and that came to mine. And that's my answer and I'm sticking to it. Mostly that we literally had this same question about Pakistan a few hours ago. Mostly. Are we going to go through every UN member state for the likes? Very impoverished and poor. Although I heard Bangladesh is growing economically, hopefully they can use this wealth to improve the lives of its people. The way it came into being. A harrowing number of people murdered and women raped. The role of West Pakistan. And the irony of it all. Fastest growing economy in Asia sounds extremely unbelievable. But it's up there. It's growing at an unprecedented rate economically. See bit saying until my death. I'm Bangladesh on what's the difference? Not really sure what he meant by that but it sounds dope. Taxi hell show me the body. While the lyric born in Bangladesh. Keeps looping in my head. Really like the song TBH. Floods. Surfing met a bloke in an airport who said it was good there. Poverty. Food UK Indian restaurant style. My grandmother's neighbours who do the world a favour by cooking everything outside. Oh my goodness it smells so good. Third world. Trash in the streets. Poverty. Borderline slave labour. The type of religion that includes honour killings. Filthy streets of Dhaka. 
piss and shit everywhere. Disfigured beggars between cars. Stuffed traffic. Air pollution. I prefer to claim it was the richness of their cultural heritage. But to be honest, what comes to mind is poverty. I know a dude who moved from England back to Bangladesh after 40 years. His name is Dilip. Do you know him? Sweatshops. Child labor. Unsanitary conditions. Dirty streets. Open sewers call scammers. Identity theft. My lovely co-workers from Bangladesh. Legitimately the nicest and most empathetic people I've ever met. To be honest, it's filth and cheap working force clothing, shoes, etc. Also the air pollution. A flag that's slightly hard to look at and the nice family that run a shop near me. Incredible poverty. Followed quickly by they'll be underwater in a few years. The city I live in Brampton, Ontario. It was called Bramladesh for a while. My friend from high school who was from Bangladesh miss him. He moved away. Illegal immigrants. Poverty. Textile boom but suddenly shifting to Philippines. Fried chicken fr they have their own version of it and it's delicious. How close is that to Bhopal, India where they killed everybody with raid? Bindladesh. Which is a bad saying for a lot of come in French Quebecois. Guy named Lytton I met in Rome. He was from the banger. Hell of a guy. That one meme that says BTS stands for Bangladesh Toilet Service. Morocco dot dot. An inside joke only my fellow Algerians will understand. Bigger population than Russia. At the size of a parking lot. It's just another manic Monday. I wish it was Sunday. Wah. Whether we're going to do this with all 200 or so countries. That one meme I live in Bangladesh, I live in Bangladesh. Clothing sweatshops. Complete disregard for not littering. It's an order I refuse to follow to bang a lad named Esh. Sweatshops. Islam. Former East Pakistan and very crowded. Coats. Thanks to the Facebook group Coats of Bangladesh. First Docker Muslim. Second Refugee. Population density. Islamic extremism. The wealthiest nation of South Asia. Bangladesh produced a tag at the beginning of the Mili. George Harrison and the 1971 dissolution from Pakistan. Darker skinned Indians in a sandy area with a mustache. A British guy entering Bangladesh and saying it's India. Regressive attitudes towards women. Harassment, brown, Bia and G-L-D-E-S-H-1. Lots of guys living in a basement working like slaves. I miss Reed and saw Babushka. So naturally Kate Bush, Sarah, Bershka. Those other brands doing slave labor. Floods, and I might be wildly off for thinking it.